Hi guys, 14 Prime here, back with another video review. And today we're looking at the Transformers Fry Model Shatter Glass Optimus Prime. This has been a while since I've done a Flame Toys kit. If, you're, if anyone's wondering why I, why I didn't buy Bumblebee, because I just... I know why he's $50, I just don't think it's worth it. If he goes down to like 40 I, I'd probably buy him. But for now, we skip him. Thundercrack will come one day. Don't have him yet. He's a loose end I have to deal with. <laughs> but here's Shadow Glass Prime. And I did do a little bit of custom work on him. Like, did all this dry brushing on him. I think my camera makes this purple look a lot brighter than it is. It's actually a really dark purple. It's really nice. I did use some of the stickers. Use the green there and the yellow there. And the foot. See some more dry brushing. Painted some silver there. Some silver on these sides right there. And yeah. See a little comparison over here is how we look before painted. And probably that picture will show how much darker this purple really is. Oh, and that's one more thing I did. Instead of using stickers here, I just painted these little dots. Which for the silver, of course, fly aluminum. For those little dots, I used titanium gold. And how I made it look a bit, the blacker areas, is some panel lining paint. Basically what I did is I just smothered the area in panel lining paint, then went over it with the dry brushing. And it has this nice, this nice effect. I like it. And also another little comparison. Since I can do it. <clears throat> There's the original Flame Toys Optimus Prime. And I, I like how these two look together. This is definitely the evil version of him. And I dry brushed him even so that he can look more evil. And speaking of which... I think I've actually done more to this Optus Prime kit since I reviewed it. I can't remember if I painted the gun when I reviewed it. But here you can see. This one was just the gray that I dry brushed. And this one I actually painted black and silver. And then... They are... Whoop, wrong hand size. They're axes. Which I did. This one... Paints up the orange the entire axe is gunmetal and I painted that silver and then I painted the green silver there however I also dry brushed this however this kit actually comes with painted parts which I think is kinda neat the wheel rims the silver on the wheel rims the silver there and the silver on the face plate were already painted and I thought that was actually kinda neat I've never actually seen a kit like that I don't know if that's a if that's an actual thing and I've just never encountered it or what I think it's cool and for those people that don't even own the original Prime kit, it does come with some extra little goodies. Like you can take this really small piece, plug it into his back, which will allow you to hold either the axe or the gun by these two little tabs. You can just take one, the hand attached and plug back there or you can take the gun <laughs> the hand attached and plug right there but she does come with two pairs of hands it's just closed hands or hands with that can hold their weapons you just take that off put that on take this off put a leg of this on you can get the full kind of look. Yeah, and then this is the sticker sheets. Like I said, I didn't use much. You can even see me. <laughs> like I said, I really didn't use much. I just kind of used the faction logos and some little stickers here. That's about it. Oh, and also for the axe. I'm not really going to like demonstrate it, demonstrate it. But when you take it out of the hand, what you can do is you can put this little cover piece on it to make it whole. And you also have this piece as an optional way to store. I think just the axe. I don't think the gun can use this. But it plugs onto the back, same as the other one. Oh, and also for the 
axe blade. I don't have the paint near me, so I can't show it, but I used a metallic green Tamiya brand spray. Everything I use is Tamiya brand, guys. <laughs> and get this whoop, <laughs> to support the weight. There you go. But yeah, overall, Shatter Glass Kit. I, of course, love it. <laughs> now, this is only just a repaint, like a kind of re-release, I guess, of the original kit, so it might not be to everyone, but since I love Shatter Glass, right up my alley. And yeah. I have another Flame Toys review coming soon of a kit that also recently released that is actually new, so be excited for that. And that's pretty much all I have to say, so please be sure to check out my channel for more video reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out my Tumblr and Facebook pages, link in the description below, and this is the 14th Prime, signing out.